एंड वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न पॉलिनोग्राम कंस्ट्रक्शन वेन टू एडजस्टेंट साइड एंड इंक्लूडेड एंगल आर गिवेन नाउ सपोज वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ पैरलोग्राम विद इट्स एडजस्टेंट साइड of measure 5 cm and 3 cm and the included angle is of measure 60 degrees consider this rough figure of the parallelogram abcd in which the measure of the adjacent sides say ad and ad are given to us where ab is of measure 5 cm and ad is of measure 3 cm and the included angle that is the angle included between the two adjacent sides is of measure 60 degrees For this, we need to follow certain steps of construction. So, if you consider the rough figure ABCD is a parallelogram with AB as 5 centimeters. So, first of all, we draw. a straight line ab of measure 5 cm this is the side ab of measure 5 cm now next as you can see in the figure that angle a is of measure 60 degrees so in the next step we have at a draw a straight line ax making angle bax equal to 60 degrees as we are given that angle a is of measure 60 degrees so we have drawn this angle bax of measure 60 degrees as you can see in the figure that ad is of measure 3 cm so in the next step with a as center draw an arc with radius 3 cm cutting off ax at point b so we have drawn this arc taking a as the center and radius equal to 3 cm let this arc intersect ax at the point d so we have ad is of measure 3 cm as we know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal So this means if AB is of measure 5 cm so CD would also be of measure 5 cm and as AD is of measure 3 cm so BC would also be of measure 3 cm So as you can see that BC is of measure 3 cm so in the next step we have with B as center draw a mark with radius 3 cm so we have drawn this arc taking B as the center and radius of measure 3 cm next from the figure we have CD is of measure 5 cm so now 
with D as center draw an arc with radius 5 centimeters. So we have drawn this arc cutting the previous arc at point C. Next we join BC and CD. So we have joined BC and CD. Thus this ABCD is the required parallelogram so in this way we can construct any parallelogram when its adjacent sides and the included angle are given to us so this completes the session hope you have understood how to construct a parallelogram when its adjacent sides and the included angle are given to us